Hello there everyone, Ashmata Desai from Sorofsis Glasses. Um, we are solving the CAT question paper of 2023 and uh, we are here with five to six questions in today's video. If you want to solve questions like this with us and if you want to prepare yourselves for the competitive examinations then you can join our classes. For that you can check the description box below and uh, do contact us for your queries. If you have any kind of queries, do post down in the comment box below. We are there to help you out with that. That's it. Let's come back to the questions. Uh, Ilmenite and rutile abundantly, abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of India are rich sources of which one of the following? Aluminium, copper, iron or titanium? Or ilmenite and rutile that's the very first thing that's mentioned in the question these are abundantly available in certain coastal areas uh, or coastal tracts of India which are definitely rich sources of titanium and titanium is a strong and lightweight metal widely used in various industries including aerospace industry automotive industry and medical industries too uh, so, yeah, uh, let's discuss a bit more about these. Uh, then India is India is largely endowed with heavier resources of uh, many heavy minerals which occur mainly along the coastal stretches of the country and also in the inland places. Um, uh, these heavy mineral sands they comprise of a group of seven minerals like elemenite, leucoxin. That leucoxin is the bright uh, brown color elemenite, uh, elemenite. Then uh, rutile, zircon, then silimanite, garnet, then uh, monazite. All these are there. These are some of the uh, components of the heavy mineral sands. So, uh, yeah, we can finally say that uh, Il ilmenite and rutile, these are uh, the two most important minerals of the thing called titanium. So, hence, we are going with option D, that's titanium. Moving over to the next question, it says about three-fourths of the world's cobalt, a metal which is required for the manufacture of batteries for electric motor vehicles is produced by which country? So about three-fourths of the world's cobalt, a metal which is required for the manufacture of uh, batteries for electric motor vehicles, it's produced by the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Okay, so go with option C. Moving over to the next question. That's okay, they have given in Hindi over here. Yeah, we are solving the cat question paper over here. So there goes the next question. Which one of the following is a part of the Congo Basin? Um, now, starting with Cameroon. Cameroon is a part of the Congo Basin. Uh, Congo Basin is a vast region. We all know that, in, well, we, which is located in Central Africa that encompasses several countries, including Cameroon also. So Congo Basin, um, it's, it's a basin of the Congo River. It's um, lying uh, across the equator in the West Central uh, Asia, sorry, West Central Africa. Um, it's the world's second largest river basin, like next to that of Amazon, of course, comprising an area of more than 1.3 million square miles. That's uh, approximately 3.4 million square kilometers. And the vast drainage area of the Congo River, it includes almost the whole of the Republic of the Congo. Okay. Uh, then it also includes the Democratic Republic of the Congo, then the Central African Republic, Western Zambia, Northern Angola, and uh, parts of Cameroon and Tanzania also. So yeah, we can include this and uh, let's also discuss uh, the fact that which countries are wholly or partially in the uh, Congo Basin. Uh, we, I have already discussed, uh, but still I'm going to repeat that. Um, it's Angola, then Gabon, then uh, Burundi, then Cameroon, Central African Republic is there. 
Democratic uh, Republic of the Congo is there, Republic of Congo, Rwanda, then Tanzania, Zambia, all are there. Let us consider the following statements in the next question. Amarkantak Hills are at the confluence of Vindhya and Sahayadri ranges. So Amarkantak is a pilgrimage town which is located in the Anuppur district of Madhya Pradesh, which is in India, of course, and it is known for being the source of the Narmada River, okay, of the Manadi River and the Sun Rivers. So it is located in southeastern Madhya Pradesh. So hence we can say that this is not correct because um, this is not a present at the confluence of uh, Vindhya and Sahar. And, and Sahya three ranges. It's located in the Anuppur district in MP. Biligiri Ranjan Hills, they constitute the easternmost part of Satpura range. Now, uh, Bilig, uh, Biligiri Ranjan Hills do not constitute the, the easternmost part of the Satpura range, and they are located in the uh, Chamaraja Nagar district of Karnataka in India, which is in southern part of India. And they are part of the eastern Ghats, the mountain range that is there on the eastern Ghats, not the Satpura range. So even statement two is not correct. Seja Chalam Hills constitutes the southernmost part of the western Ghats. Now Seja Chalam Hills, which is also known as the Tirumala range, Tirumala range. These are hill ranges of the eastern Ghats, okay, eastern Ghats, eastern Ghats, which is located in the southern Andhra Pradesh, okay, southern Andhra Pradesh. They are bounded by the Rayalaseema uh, uplands in the western sides and uh, northwestern sides and the Nandiyal Valley in the northeastern part. So, um, even third one is not correct okay they have not given any proper sentence or statement in this question therefore we are going with option d that is none is correct okay let's move over to the last question for today's video that's uh, with reference to india's projects on connectivity consider the following statements um yeah let's let's consider these statements East-West Corridor under the Golden Quadrilat uh, Quadrilateral Project connects the Debrugar and Surat. The Golden Quadrilateral Project is a major highway development project in India that aims to connect the four major metropolitan cities. That's Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. So four are there. Now the East-West Corridor, that we are, th that is what we are talking about. East-West Corridor is a part of this project and connects the Shiv um, uh, in a sand part to pour bandar to the towards the western Gujarat so if we if we just uh, to, just make a rough diagram of the India's map okay pour bandar is in Gujarat so from here silchar in Assam to pour bandar in uh, Gujarat part so hence uh, yeah first statement is not correct Let's move over to the second one. That's trilateral highway connects the Moray in uh, Manipur and Chiang Mai in Thailand via, via, via Myanmar. Now, IMT, uh, that's the, um, that, that is what we call this uh, trilateral highway. The IMT trilateral highway connects Moray in the Indian state of Manipur with my soy, with my sort it's it's in uh, thailand um uh, which which is passing through uh, myanmar of course it, it is an ambitious uh, project which is aimed at enhancing the connectivity and trade between india then myanmar and thailand so uh, this part uh, chiang mai is not correct my sort is correct okay so hence uh, the place name is wrong so this will also not go this part is wrong instead of chiang mai it would be 
May sort. A place is in Thailand only, that's correct. All right, let's take the third statement. Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar economic corridor connects Varanasi in UP and Kunming in China. Now, Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar economic corridor, that is what we call the BCIM. That corridor is a, uh, is a proposed connectivity project that aims to enhance the economic cooperation and trade between Bangladesh, China, India and Myanmar. Okay, and The corridor is expected to run from Kunming in China uh, through Myanmar, then through Bangladesh and eventually reach Kolkata in India. So again, statement 3 is also not correct. So let us go with option D, which says none of them are correct. Okay. So yeah, we are going to keep it till here today in this video. If you want to discuss questions like this with me and prepare with me for all the competitive exams and um, and all the entrance exams, then you can join our classes. For that, you can just check the description box, which is below this video. And you can also post down your queries down in the comment box.